Awaken Chaos is now out. It is out for Android. It is not out for iOS. You can currently download it both on phones as well as an emulator. I am currently using LD Player 64 bit. You can also use Bluestacks 5. In order to get it to work on your computer, the first thing you need to do is get your emulator, have it running. I am using the 64 bit of LD Player. Then you're going to go to APK Pure. Once you're APK Pure and I have all these links here, you just click up here, you search type in Awaken Chaos, it's pretty much that easy. You click on it, you click download, okay? It's gonna download it. Once it's done downloading at the bottom here, you're gonna see it. You're just gonna click it, you drag and drop it right onto the front page and it's going to install. You click, it will download the patch and then you're good. That's it, that's all you have to do. Okay, now people are experiencing some bugs. Um, there is re-rolling in this game. Now I wanna teach you how to re-roll and essentially what that is, okay? If you're experiencing some bugs getting into it, you're not the only person. Let's just get that out of the way right now. You can see right here, I literally crashed trying to launch the game. If that happens, just reload it, go back in, go again. This is, it's soft launch, okay? There's a lot of bugs, they're ironing it out. They just launched a patch as of 12 hours of the release of soft launch, fixing a lot of these bugs. So there are still some. Also, just real quick, I'm gonna show this to you guys real quick. This is the model I'm using, the SMG975N is the model I'm currently using, okay? So I don't know which one that was, but I went down and I think I clicked one of the older ones or something to get it to work. So you can go through on your settings, click on model and change the model of your device to get one that works. I got into the game and you can actually see here they have compensation for the bugs. They've been hitting, handing out a lot of freebies from the updates and all that. There's also a whole bunch of promo codes too. There is, I think six or seven current promo codes. Instead of showing you them all, I'm gonna put them all in the link in the in the description pin comment. Okay, there's like a bunch of them you type in. I'll show you very quickly how you do that. Okay, so let's see. You go to settings, which is actually right here. You click on the top right corner. You click on settings. Then you click on account, and then you click on redemption code. And you're gonna type all the codes in the pin comment right in there. That will give you basically a free pin poll. Now you can do this right off the bat on a brand new account. So if you want to reroll, you can just make an account. Go ahead, do your post from the summons and then remake a new account. But there's also another way that you can do rerolls that are built into the game where you don't actually have to do them manually. So you go to adventure, okay? Once you're on adventure here, you're gonna zoom out. You're gonna go, where is it? To two eight, okay? So you have to go through the camp, the chapters normally. It's gonna walk you through the tutorial and have you beat chapter one as normal. And it's gonna have you go to chapter two. Once you beat chapter two eight, which you should be able to do with all the starting heroes, it's gonna give you something called a rookie summon. Now I recorded my rookie summons. How it works is it gives you five, five pose and you pick the one you want. So here is that process that I did. Okay, here we go. So I guess this is how you re-roll. You get to two eight from what I hear and you get a rookie summon. And then the rookie summon gives you basically five chances and you can summon and see if you're okay with what you got or not. Um, now, if you don't get what you want during the rookie summons, you just basically remake your account. So where it goes, here's, look, I got Valeria. Look at that. It's roll all five and choose one. Oh. I forgot. I mean, I don't have to pick that one, do I? So this is another choice, right? Okay, so then this one is Borden and Urzag. The pirate guys. I mean, obviously, I'd rather have the legendary. I see. We get to pick the one we want. Okay, okay. Now it's making sense. Maybe we can get another legendary. That, oh, gold. Ooh, Molhex. Is this guy any good? How about Molhex? And then Hector. So, so I get to pick Hector, Molhex, or Valerie. What's the call? And Hector, we'll take Hector. So you can see it's pretty simple. You beat this stage, which you can do just by going through the tutorial basically. And then you get five, five summons and you're guaranteed a legendary at poll number one poll number three and poll number five. So you are guaranteed to be able to pick your legendary of those three, okay? That's how you do it. If you've seen the ad where it says, choose your legendary, you do get to choose your legendary, but of three, not of every legendary in the game. Now, if you re-row, there's three legendaries and you could get the same three ones, but you could get three of the other ones too. You can basically row any legendary. I don't know if it can row the light dark ones. I've only seen it row like the standard legendary. So that's how you do your re-rolling. Now, because you get five poses and you get picked for three legendaries, re-rolling in this game is both 
way better because you can, I mean, get five pulls every time you reroll and way worse because you don't really need to reroll because you're guaranteed a legendary. Now in their actual FAQ, you can look through here and they do talk about a bunch of information that I recommend looking at. Like, will my data be reset when game globally launches? No. This is basically global launch just for some people. Everyone can get into it with the method that I showed earlier and it works on Android phones with that APK method too. You just go to the website and download it straight to your phone, okay? I have my Android phone. This is an S21 Ultra or whatever it's called and it works on this phone. It's, it literally works. You can see it right here. I was just playing it and it says, look, your account is logged in somewhere else right there, okay? I was literally just playing it. So it does work on multiple devices. Now in here it says, will I be reimbursed if I make purchase during the test? Any purchases made during any of our beta tests were returned as ACE tokens, you receive 150% return on all purchases. If you play during the beta, you actually get 200% return because they upped the prices of the packs. So they upped how much money you get back to give you the bonus, okay? Now, if you look down here, they removed uh, the rule here that made this where it was a limit of $500. And then in addition, it says, if I reroll my account without losing my redeem code, sign into any link account, play adventure the one six, go to in-game email to get redeem code and reroll if need be, then use code when ready. So do not use your code basically. Get your redeem code, but do not use it until you're happy with your account's performance in its rows. Otherwise you're effectively gonna waste a lot of money. Now there's a bunch of other uh, communities here like their Facebook, et cetera. And it says what, compa what devices are compatible? Any device 5.0 plus with a two plus OG memory are compatible. Emulators are also supported. There has been a number of bugs currently reported uh, that has to do with like 4G, et cetera, with mobile devices. So if you're experiencing issues with using your credit card to purchase, or if you're experiencing issues with mobile gaming, uh, that is something that's currently being addressed and will be fixed as time goes on. Rerolling is something you can do basically, but because of the reasons we've listed before, you don't necessarily have to, and make sure you don't redeem your code if you did participate in the betas and then reroll because you're gonna lose your bonus, which could be a ton of money, and that would really be unfortunate. Now, also, if you see exclamation marks on the main page on your heroes, click on them because it is stuff that you can get for free, and, it, and it's just a basic tip that you might not know. Now, speaking of basic tips, the next video here is gonna be some basic tips, tricks, things like that, beginner's guide, so like on the video. If you wanna see more Awakened Chaos, leave a comment about what information on Awakened Chaos you want to be covered. I am blowing through this game pretty quickly. I actually like this game a lot, to be honest. It is very similar to the raid, and it's probably one of the videos we got to do, which is a first look type of video. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing and all that, and I'll see you on the next one.